Good afternoon guys, we are in one of the busiest streets here in Istanbul which is called İstiklal Caddesi in Turkish it's basically İstiklal Avenue and there are, you can see trams, sometimes cars, police cars, ambulance and lots of people are passing by here sometimes even also you see scooters and motorbikes traveling around here so super busy shopping street actually you can find all the brands here you can get into the shopping malls you can also uh, buy sim cards you can get food obviously because uh, we are in turkey everywhere there's a food option there's always restaurants as long as there's a uh, shopping places around as well so it's the cloud street we're gonna do a little exploration i want to show you a few places in this uh, street this street actually very long so it goes all the way to the galata tower area and then until to the taksim area so if you walk slowly you would be walking maybe 25 even like 30 minutes to get to the other side and uh, this is beautiful building here and there's a passage which is called chichek passage and it's actually very beautiful architecture inside which we might uh, go check out inside there are some shops there are some restaurants inside too uh, chichek uh, chichek basically means flower and the passage means passage basically exit to the other side it's like a narrow way uh, which leads to the another side of the street this is the entrance it's called the uh, check passage already architecture looks incredible on the top and then uh, just before you enter on the right side we have some souvenir shops and then on the left side they are selling actually some sweets and uh, and the rest of the passage is basically kind of restaurants where you can get a drink you can have some uh, food to eat it's a super quiet area and looks uh, very colorful lots of light also coming just from the top uh, obviously architecture is uh, outstanding here it's quite old building for sure and lights and the uh, tables how is it set up here it's very nice and uh, especially during the evening it can get really busy here so all the tables you see around will be probably occupied they will be mostly selling uh, fish because uh, fish and uh, raki which is the typical alcohol from here from turkey that's the best combination basically you can get fish and as well as having some uh, raki back views again Check passage right now. We have the Turkish flag and check this beautiful ceiling as well. It, this allows lots of light to come in, which creates a much better atmosphere right here. So it's not dark at all. And uh, this is the type of alcohol called raki. So basically, uh, in normally the color is like water, but afterwards they add a little bit of water and then it turns into something like white drink like this. So these are the mezes. Mezes basically are the side dishes which comes just before the food. So before you wait your food, you can get actually some things to eat and fill yourself up slowly. And now we just get into the outside and there is lots of uh, small shops here. And we might do a little uh, shopping here as well. We have a fish market right here. And we have all these fish items. We have some oysters. We have a lobster, different type of small fish, big fish, and we also have a javier actually. This is from uh, Russian javier. This is Caspian Sea. This is probably coming from uh, Azerbaijan area. All right, and uh, we have some touristic items here. They are selling some like random stuff here. We might just uh, have a look. There's these are lighters, but we might buy something on the other side. The gentleman probably selling some. Uh, toys and souvenirs it seems like uh, some cartoon characters which looks uh, very nice actually are they from uh, plastic probably from uh, plastic materials and then we also have some uh, bracelets here for the ladies mainly as I can see and then we have some souvenirs as well all right I don't see anything that uh, I'm really interested about to get but one of the things I want to do actually get some cheese uh, which is called actually kaimak and basically it means uh, cream uh, cheese cream 
and I want to get some honey. There's actually another shop which is in a distance, so you might uh, get that. Oh, we have some uh, fake money here. Look at this, uh, hundred dollars. If you want to be rich fast, this is what you have to get, guys. We have some games here too, some masks, and then perfumes. Nice area, little uh, shops. We get lots of uh, fresh fruits here too. Before we get into shopping, I want to show you as well this nice little passage here, which is called uh, Europe Passage. In Turkish, it's Avrupa Passage. And it's also a very iconic place. There's nice statues on the top. And then the ceiling is also outstanding. Similar like uh, Cicek Passage, which we have been previously. So we have some bags here. You can get uh, decorations for your home. If you want to get some silver, this is your place if you like the jewelry, obviously. And there are some antique items here too. And I normally love to see this type of things while I'm traveling. For example, here, there are lots of old items too. There's different prices. So it takes you basically to the other side of the street. Which we might have just have a look to give you an idea what's expecting you on the other side. All right, that's it basically. Lots of shops on the left, right, but I think our main shopping area is on that street where we came from. So we're gonna just proceed back, see what is waiting. <laughs> So even though it's very central area, you will still find lots of local people here wandering around, especially during the weekends, would get uh, quite busy. People living in the different parts of Istanbul would come and travel here. So it can get really busy during the weekends, especially. But right now it's Monday and it's afternoon, so that's why it's more quiet and not so many people are here. All right, uh, we might also get some snacks later on. That would be that would be great. We have lots of uh, fake rings to here too, and then uh, we have a fish area. We are frying some fish right now, and then this is midia, uh, which we're gonna get later on. All right. There was a uh, one nice shop right here that I wanted to... Ah, here we go. I think this is the place which we might do a little shopping here. I want to buy uh, some kaimak and later on I want to get some honey too. Look at this different type of uh, honey choices right here. Different packages too, whatever you are looking for. And then... Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Hoş bulduk. Wow, such a rich shop with all these dry items here we have some uh, dates too which we might be interested to get later on i've been kind of addicted to dates recently they are so fulfilling so delicious it's sweet and i just love to having it as a snack and uh, we also have uh, honey here lots of uh, different options we will check the prices and i might get something like small honey from Turkey. Kolay gelsin abi nasılsın? Teşekkür ederim sağ olasın. İngilizceniz var mı? Sence? İngilizceniz var mı? İngilizce biliyor musunuz? Az çok. Az <gülüyor> tamam. Aa, kaymak var mı? Var. Tamam. Ee, ne kadar? Kaç para? Kaymaklarımız böyle beyefendi. Ee, bir kilo efendim kaymak. Aa, az az olsun. Bir kilo çoktur ya. Ben yalnız yiyeceğim. Tamam. Şöyle <gülüyor> Aa, bir tane. Tamam. tamam so this is the kaymak which is 48 called lira. 48 tamam. So this is the kaymak basically it's called um, cheese cream and it's a very typical thing for breakfast. Manda sütü. Manda sütü. Okay. Tamam. Güzel. Buffalo. Buffalo. <laughs> Bakabilir miyim lütfen? So this is from actually buffalo milk so which makes it even more exclusive. So this is what I'm gonna get. All right. Uh, bir de bal istiyordum. Tamam, uh, tavsiye bir. ettiğiniz bal var mı? Var. Çok Ama güzel. küçük olsun. Yalnız tamam. yiyeceğim. Tamam. Aynı şekilde kaymakla. Şu yeter mi? Tamam. Çam Buna... olur da. Ya yeah, doğal bal Tabii. değil mi? Çok so güzel. this is Çam a natural olur. honey. Nereden geliyor bu? 
Efendim Marmaris. So it comes from Marmaris and it's a small size honey which I Çam. I would be bununla birlikte iyi gider değil mi? Oh. Süper. <gülüyor> Teşekkürler. Eee birlikte Süper. So that's what we are getting. Two things and as well as I want to get some dates. Eee uh, hurmayı kilola satıyor musunuz yoksa bu sayede? Onların üzerindeki fiyatları tartılmış. Tamam. Süper. O zaman bunu da yapalım. And this one it comes to 134 liras and that's what we are getting too. Honey, kaymak and tamam, we efendim. also have uh, dates. Teşekkürler. Ben teşekkür ederim efendim. Burası güzel mağaza. Kaç yıldır çalışıyorsunuz? 52 senedir bu pazardayız. 43 senedir bu dükkandayız. Wow. Uh, so 53 yıl. 53 yıl bu pazar. Pazar. So they are 53 43, 43 yıl bu dükkan. Güzel. 53 years there in this uh, bazaar, in this market, and 43 years in this shop where we are standing at, at the moment. So quite old, I'm sure they have uh, so many customers, loyal customers who comes back, and that's how they are keeping the business basically, because tourists wouldn't come here that often, so I would say more locals are coming. Yerler daha çok geliyor değil mi buraya, neyinki turist değil mi? Tabii, yani yarı yarı. Yarı yarı, okay. Nice, Tabii. teşekkürler. Yani, e ne kadar mevsime göre mevsime göre değişiyor. <gülüyor> Güzel. So it depends on the season basically it change. Sometimes it's a local people come here a lot and sometimes a tourist come. But normally it's like 50-50 as as he said. All right. Uh, ne kadar oluyor abicim? 270 lira. Burada 300 var. Çok tamam. teşekkür ederim. Ben de teşekkür ederim. Paranızı üstüne Yok kalsın. Problem değil. Teşekkür, teşekkür ederim. ederim. Dikkatiniz etmez. için teşekkür ederim. Kendinize iyi bakın. Güzel evet ben Azeri'yim bak ki denim. Ben Oo. ben zaten Türk sayılırım. Evet. Yani Türk'ün zaten. Evet Sayın Türk'üm ben. <gülüyor> evet teşekkür ederim. Kendinize tamam, iyi bakın. Selamlar. Teşekkür ederim. Sizin isminiz neydi? Ahmet. Ahmet Davut ben. Oo, Çok memnun oldum. oldum. Kendinize iyi bakın. Sen de Görüşürüz. Bay bay. Sağ olun. Sağ olun. Sağ olun. Sağ olun. All right, we paid uh, 270 liras for all this uh, beautiful and organic items. Uh, this bazaar is kind of continuous downstairs. But uh, there's a one place here which I want to show you quick snack which is very famous uh, specifically in Istanbul but in general in Turkey uh, this is the place called Midya and there's a gentleman uh, Mr. Mehmet actually is serving this so this is the Midya which they are serving looks like this it's actually inside is the is the mussels and uh, also they put some rice into it you just squeeze some lemon into it and then you just eat it so i'm not sure if the Mr. mehmet is here kolay gelsin merhaba kolay gelsin mehmet bey burada mı mehmet bey akşamları geliyor akşam geliyor tamam çok teşekkür ederim kolay gelsin all right the gentleman i'm looking for who is the owner of the place is uh, called uh, mehmet if you are looking for a good place to eat this is the gentleman he, he will be your friend uh, we might uh, buy some more items here but let's proceed further to see what's waiting for us right now it's a azan time so that's what you hear in the background this is actually a meat shop let's uh, let's uh, have a have a look quickly Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. <gülüyor> Merhabalar. Oh, we have a whole meat here. Wow. And then they have a whole section behind where the cut is happening. Such a big shop. Kolay gelsin. Görüşürüz. Oh, I love in general to go to this type of like a random places, random shops. Uh, it's always exciting to see what people eat in day-to-day -day life so obviously this is not touristic like tourists wouldn't buy meat right so it would be bought normally by the local people here Merhaba. oh I think uh, Galatasaray is getting ready for a game so let's let's have a look what's happening here this is a uh, Galatasaray fans I'm sure they are getting uh, ready for the game, so they will be drinking and celebrating and singing to each other. Merhabalar, 
Kolay gelsin. Oyun bitti mi başlıyor mu? Ne oluyor Galat? Ha yeni başlıyor ya. Yeni başlıyor. Yani oyun gidecek şimdi. Güzel. Bol şans size. Tamam, kim, kim oynuyor? Galatasaray? Başakşehir. Başakşehir. Tamam. Bol şans size. Ben Azeri'yim. Evet. Teşekkür ederim. Afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. <gülüyor> Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. It's crazy because uh, football is such a big thing here in Turkey and it's more like a religious thing here. So that's why you see all the restaurants are occupied, people are drinking, waiting for the game to happen. Yeah, it's just a, such a cool atmosphere here. All right, let's uh, let's get out slowly from uh, from this area. It's quite noisy at the moment. Oh, beautiful artwork on the streets. Very loud music. Bubble pop. Right. Let's uh, let's proceed slowly downstairs. So Galatasaray is uh, one of the biggest teams in Turkey, uh, along along with uh, Fenerbahce, which is a, another football club, very famous. And probably the third one gonna be Besiktas. Uh, that will be the third biggest uh, team. Uh, there's a Trabzon, Trabzonspor and others. So, but the main ones is always Fenerbahce and Galatasaray. And uh, these two, basically, when they're playing together. It's basically El Clasico of uh, Turkey. Such a cool atmosphere. As I mentioned, football is more like a religious thing here. There, people love football and they are really loyal to their teams. They would support them. They would, um, they would go to the stadiums uh, quite a lot. So the games and the football in general is such a big thing here. So super cool to see how the Galatasaray is about to start the game. And you actually had the chance uh, to see what's happening. We are in a, some narrow street right here. I have no idea where we are, but this building looks very, very old. And we are on the backside of the Istiklal street. So it's more quiet. There's not so many noises. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm so glad you guys uh, got a little bit chance to see what football means here in, in Turkey. We have a, this little cafe here where we can have a sit down here and have a tea, which we're gonna do right now. Let's uh, check out if we have some tea here. <coughs> Let's have a look. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Nasılsınız? Çok iyiyim, çok teşekkür ederim. Ben lütfen bir çay alabilir miyim? Çayın yanında ne biliyorsunuz? Neyiniz var? Çayın yanında neyimiz var? Hiçbir şey. Yok, tost yapabiliriz. tost yok, yemek olmasın. Tatlı falan var mı? Tamam, tamam, problem değil. Çay mı? Evet, bir tane lütfen. Şekerli. Ne kadar oluyor? 10 TL. 10 TL. Alright, we have 10 liras here. Actually, we have 15 for him. Ah, teşekkür ederim. Burada 15 var. This is a typical Turkish tea. How they are serving it. Çok teşekkürler. Ellerinize sağlık. Şeker masalarda var. Tamam, süper. Ben dışarıda oturacağım. Teşekkür ederim. Right, we are having our tea as well. And then I'm gonna just sit down here, chill. They have this all very cute and uh, small tables where you can just sit down. 
they look small but they're actually very comfortable so this is the type of uh, tea houses you would see all around Istanbul actually little tables normally they serve coffee or tea and uh, if you want to get some snack they might do some like toast for you and um, in, in translation it's basically chayevi or in general it's like a tea house that's uh, what would you get narrow streets only one car possibly can pass from here some shops and this is where the people are living in their houses all right let's give a shot to our tea which looks like this and uh, first of all let me tell you how much uh, it costs how much we are paying for a for a tea so basically that would be uh, 10 lira and it's basically 50 American cents for uh, one tea it's not the uh, cheapest but uh, 10 lira it's a quite fine number to get a tea 50 cents I'm not sure if you can find a little bit uh, cheaper prices somewhere else but uh, definitely 10, 10 lira is a, is a good price for sure all right let's uh, try our tea mm, it's good we need to add a little bit of a sugar here maybe two pieces and then mix it up and here you go we have the tea very very cultural thing to have here in uh, in turkey tea any time of the day breakfast lunch before food after food it's uh, always an option and as a try great that tastes a little bit better all right guys i will see you later we're gonna explore the streets around here and see what's expecting us i'm almost done with my drink and Later on, we're gonna go slowly, explore Istanbul. But uh, meanwhile, I'm sitting here. I have a little bit off vibe. I feel like uh, I'm in really in unholy streets of Istanbul. Uh, you know, more like a red light district uh, kind of streets here. Uh, probably a little bit sketchy areas. So I'm not sure what to expect and. I'm not sure how's it gonna go with filming, but I'm gonna proceed one street uh, just behind us and see what's uh, what's expecting us. But I didn't have an idea where I'm coming exactly, so just wanted to have a tea. But there's a different type of uh, vibe here, which uh, we might see in a while. All right, we take our bag. Let's give the glass back to the gentleman. Abi çok teşekkürler. Ellerine sağlık. Görüşürüz. Bay bay. All right. This is the sketchy streets, I think. There's some gentlemen sitting here. And we're gonna go proceed further to see, to see what's happening here. It's a colorful buildings for sure. Merhaba. Teşekkürler. And then uh, we have another tea place on the right side where you can sit, chill. We have a barber shop right here, which is a good sign. And we have uh, more people kind of waiting in the line. We have a telephone shop here. And uh, we have a beautiful artwork on the street too. It's quite nice areas. All right. They are definitely uncomfortable with the filming. So we are not gonna film them, but definitely this is some kind of like uh, unholy streets, guys. But then once you get here, it gets a different vibe. The gentlemen are sitting, chilling, getting some coffee. So we are gonna proceed back to the Taksim area and see what's expecting is us here I do not recommend to come to these streets uh, be careful not to get uh, bad experiences from Istanbul stay in the main streets mainly 
especially when you are the streets parallel to uh, Istiklal Street. Might be different, different vibe and uh, might be a little dangerous if you are a solo traveler or uh, if you are alone, whatever, especially during the night. So be careful, stick with the main street, which is the Istiklal Street, just in front of us. We have a kebab place here, some more shopping stations, and we have a beautiful mosque just here next to the street, Istiklal Street. Right now we are in a Taksim Square, another very famous place in Istanbul. It's more like wherever you go in Istanbul, you would normally end up in Taksim. So it's also shopping district, plus there are clubs and bars, type of places and lots of hotels. So most of the tourists are actually, when they arrive first time to Istanbul, they would be staying in these areas. And uh, next to the Taksim Square, there's a huge and very beautiful mosque. Uh, as you can see, there are lots of uh, Turkish flags too, which gives a beautiful vibe to the square. And there's also this monument just in the middle. And normally the old trams, they would be turning around here and then taking you to the Istiklal street to the other end. And actually there is, there is the tram just stopping there right now. And as you saw the pigeons, in the beginning of this clip, the pigeons are a very big part of uh, Turkey too, along with the seagulls. Seagulls and the pigeons are everywhere in Turkey. So normally people would be feeding these uh, pigeons on the squares and some people actually make a business out of it. They sell you some seeds so you can throw them to the, to the, um, to the birds and feed them. And... Uh, you Oh, you know me. Hi, nice to meet you. Sen gördüm. Ben şeyde gördüm. YouTube'da gördüm. Ah, öyle mi? Memnun oldum. Tabii olur. Türk müsünüz? Ben babam şey Tebrizli. Ah, Tebrizli güzel. Siz de bakınız. Ben Azerbaycanlı. Ah, ben de beni büyük babam Azerbaycanlıydı. Şimdi YouTube videosu yapın. Problem değil, değil mi? Hayır, bir bir bir. Beraber. Olur. Sizce yakışsınız? Yakışıyorum. Siz ne zesiniz? Ben de yakışıyorum. YouTuber. Davut. Davut. Davut. Davut'u gördüm ben burada. Şadol. Meydan Taksim'de YouTuber'di. <gülüyor> Ee, Teşekkürler. Aa, şimdi şimdi de <gülüyor> rekor Bakı'dan yapıyorum. Azerbaycan'da. Çok memnunum. Siz isminiz ne? Ben e, Alba. Alba. Ben de şeydiydim, e, şarkıcıydım ben Aa, de. Aa şarkıcı. Mısır'da şarkıcı. Burada mı yaşıyorsun şimdi? Hayır ben şeydiyim San Francisco'dayım. San Francisco'da? New York, San Francisco. Ah beautiful. So you live in San Francisco. Yeah I live in the... And now you are tourist here in Istanbul? Yeah, actually I have my sister who okay, lives so here. Okay so you are visiting so... relatives kinda. Yeah yeah yeah yeah. Ha, yeah güzel. Yeah, yeah. Çok memnun oldum. Ben de çok memnun oldum. Kendinize iyi bakın. Size mesaj atabilirim. Davut'u unuttum. Davut. Instagram'da var. Davut sadece. Davut sadece. Sadece Davut. Sadece Davut. Ya başka bir şey yok sadece. Instagram'da Davut. Davut. Tamam görmüşüm çok ben oldu. bir kere İran'a gitmiştim. Evet İran çok güzeldi. Tebriz'i beğendiniz Tebriz mi? Tebriz güzeldi, yani? Tehran güzeldi. Çünkü değişmiş yani o Azerbaycan'ı şey yaptılar. Ha. Aynen aynen. Yani, aynen. E, zaten oradakiler hepsi Azerbaycan'ı konuşuyor. Güzeldi. Evet yani şey İran'ı çok şey yaptılar. Yani bu Azerbaycan'ı Ay ayırdılar. Ayrıldılar evet, evet, gitti evet, evet. şey. Evet ama Tebriz güzel. Ki. Yemekler güzeldi. Evet. İnsanlar güzeldi. Ben de Azerbaycan'ı çok seviyorum. Çok çok, sev çok teşekkür ederim. Bir tane yoldaşım vardı. Adı şeydi. <gülüyor> Ranar Musayev. Aha. Şey orada televizyonda çalışıyor. Aha. Eldar Eldar'la. Tebriz'de mi? Hayır Bakü'de. Aha Bakü'de. Evet güzel, evet. Güzel. Musayev. Çok, çok memnun, memnun oldum. oldum. Kendinize iyi bakın. Have a great İyi, day. Iyi, have a nice uh, wandering around yeah, in Istanbul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say hi Thank to your you. sister. Thank you. Teşekkürler. Have a great memnun oldum. Bye bye. Bye bye. Interesting. That's actually a first encounter I see in uh, Istanbul. Someone knows me. Uh, so she's a Persian and from Tabriz basically. And uh, she followed my Iran series, I guess. And that's how she knows me. And uh, she was surprised to see me as, um, as much as I was surprised to see one knowing me here. So this is the old tram, basically, guys, uh, which gonna take it, take off actually very, very soon. So you can use your Istanbul card actually to get in and uh, wander around the city. So basically this tram, which is the old tram, has actually very few spots and it goes only straight so it just follows the Istiklal street 
some tourists hop on it some locals too if they want to save some time so they basically go only straight to the another side of the Istiklal street so from the beginning from Taksim takes you all the way to the end uh, it's a quite fun ride but uh, normally it's got it's quite uh, full too so it depends if you want to just walk and check out the shops or you want to go really fast to the other side it's up to you and uh, when you're in the Taksim Square you should definitely check out this uh, Donar kebab places in Turkish they would call it normally Donar and uh, kebab is actually something different kebab is the one on the stick so Adana might be kebab or uh, lamb kebab but Donar basically means the meat is rotating you're gonna see right now how they're rotating it and cutting it and serving it to you so in Turkish it, it literally means Donar like it's turning around so its name is Donar. Some people, Europeans mostly call it Donar Kebab, but it's not, it's actually just Donar. And Kebab is something different, like in the Shashlik. And if you are here, there are lots of uh, different shops, big competition, but always look for Kuzul Kayalar. They have a very good brand, very good quality Donar. So you should uh, definitely go check it out. And I'm actually gonna get uh, some snack right now. So let's see how they are serving it, how they make it would be a fun experience for us to see. Merhabalar, kolay gelsin. Aa ben bir tane et alacağım lütfen. Dürüm mü olsun? Dürüm olsun lütfen. Çok teşekkür ederim. Bir tane et dürüm yapılsam. Ne kadar? How much? 90 lira. Fiyatlara bakabilir miyim lütfen? Buyur abi. Uh, so normally the wrap is like 90 90 liras. It's 70 grams. Oh, that was very fast. Okay. Right, wait, wait wait a second. Can you please hold it? I pay you. The use bar. Teşekkürler. Well, I didn't get the chance to show you guys. That was really, really fast. So that's how they are cutting the meat while they are rotating the whole thing. And they are putting some meat on the wrap. Teşekkürler. And they put some vegetables, tomatoes, and some pickles. Kolay gelsin. Nasılsınız? Çekiyorum, onları kanalı. Çekiyorum, çekiyorum. YouTube kanalım benim. Ha, YouTube kanalı. Evet, ama, evet. ama ama Türk değilsin. Ha, Az Azeri'yim ben. Aa, Azeri. Bakü'den. Evet, Bakü. Evet, evet. Arkadaşım hoş geldiniz. Teşekkür ederim. So they put some veggies on it. They make the wrap for you. And this gentleman uh, has a huge knife, which which helps uh, to cut it smoothly. So let's see how he, how he does it. beautifully cut and uh, they are basically taking care of it other side is getting cooked right now and they are taking care of what's already cooked and then there's actually fire just behind that As you're gonna see right here there's a fire right here and they're cutting it slowly and serving it as people come uh, Usta bir şey soracağım. Mesela buradan kaç tane e, çıkıyor döner? Buradan mı? Kaç tane yarım? Bin tane çıkar mı? Bin, binden ne kadar? Ha? Kaç tane döner çıkıyor mesela buradan? 70 lira. Yok yani bu tüm şeyden etten. Bir, Tamam. Yani 2000 falan çıkar mı? Güzel. Teşekkürler. Kolay gelsin. Alright guys. This is your uh, famous döner kebab place. I, I keep saying döner kebab now too, but it's only döner. So this is how it looks like. You can get it from the Kızıl Kayalar. Very famous place. Check it out. Quality food. And uh, it's quite easy and small snack. So they give you, I think, around 70 grams meat and the wrap and the veggies, and you can just uh, have a bite and enjoy the enjoy the Istanbul while your belly is full. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you this beautiful Taksim Square, and uh, we're gonna sign out slowly. Thank you so much for joining, and uh, I'm finalizing the Istanbul vlog here. I will see you next time, guys. Thank you so much for watching and being part of the vlog. Until next time.